imagine a life where you can wake up well-rested without an alarm clock every morning. A life free from financial stress. The bills are paid. You have extra money in the bank. And the best part, you don't have to work ever again. But what made this amazing lifestyle possible? Dividends. Did you know that in 2020, the S&P 500 companies paid out over $58 billion in dividends per month to their shareholders? What if I told you that historically, dividends have contributed a significant portion of the stock market's total return? In fact, they contributed about 42% on average. So, how do we harness this powerful tool for wealth creation to guarantee a monthly income of $10,000? In today's video, I'm about to reveal the simple strategies that everyday people like you and me can use to make this a reality. To make this easier, we're going to draw on the insights of our favorite investing legend, the one and only Warren Buffett. My goal for this video is simple. I want to help you generate an extra $10,000 per month through dividend investing. Let's get started. Understanding Dividends Let's start by understanding what dividends are and how they can help you achieve financial freedom. Investing billionaire Warren Buffett is famous for saying, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. And I couldn't agree more. Dividends are a powerful financial vehicle that allows you to earn passively. And here's how they essentially work. By investing in a company's shares, you become part owner of that company. If the company is profitable, which is the hope, it can decide what it wants to do with the extra money. And in a lot of cases, they might choose to share a portion of these profits with its shareholders. This profit that gets distributed is what we call dividends. Dividends are usually paid out in a fixed cycle. They're usually paid quarterly, monthly, or annually, and are typically given in cash. However, sometimes dividends come as additional shares, called stock dividends, or through dividend reinvestment plans. So, in a nutshell, dividends are your slice of the pie when a company shares its profits with its shareholders. They provide a consistent income stream that is crucial for wealth building and financial independence. The best part is that once you invest a certain amount into a dividend-paying company, your earnings are completely passive. Warren Buffett himself has leveraged this style of investing over time to grow his wealth. Buffett also emphasized the importance of building a strong portfolio. But what is a strong portfolio and why do we need one? Well, according to Buffett, Diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you're doing. We had more reason to retain all of our earnings. If, if C's Candy were a standalone company, we would simply pay out a lot of the, the, the earnings, practically all of the earnings and dividends, just like we do now, except it goes to Berkshire. It, we, like our, we like the companies in which we have investments to pay to us the money they can't use efficiently in their own business. In some cases, that's 100% of what they earn. In some cases, it's 0% of the earn. We own some stocks that don't pay any dividends. So how do we create a robust dividend portfolio that can stand the test of time? Here are some basic ideas you can use to build your portfolio by following Warren Buffett's principles. Number one, choose dividend-paying stocks. The obvious first step is to research various dividend-paying stocks that you might want to invest in. A good rule of thumb here is to target companies known for stable or growing dividend payouts. This is often found in sectors like consumer staples, utilities, and healthcare. Thorough research is crucial. So be prepared to look at company financial statements to evaluate their long-term stability, their market edge, and their cash flow capacity to pay out dividends consistently. Number two, diversification. Diversification is a common principle in investing and Buffett is a strong proponent of it as well. Diversification is all about spreading out your investments across various sectors and industries to minimize risk. Avoid investing everything in one industry or even worse, a single company. A diversified portfolio is better equipped to handle market swings and help you maintain a baseline level of income even during times of economic turmoil. Number three, embracing a long-term outlook. If you had a punch card with only 20 punches, you weren't going to get another one the rest of your life, you would think a long time before every investment decision, and you would make good ones and you'd make big ones. And you probably wouldn't even use all 20 punches at the, in your lifetime, but you wouldn't need to. What separates Warren Buffett from all the one-hit wonders in the investing world is his long-term approach to investing. As he famously said, our favorite holding period is forever. This approach is particularly effective with dividend stocks. Over time, 
dividend income can grow, especially if you reinvest those dividends. This compounding effect can substantially increase your future income. Number four, evaluating risk. Another key strategy used by Buffett is avoiding companies that are burdened with a lot of debt or those known for frequently reducing dividends. Instead, opt for companies with strong financials and a long history of surviving market lows. Number five, ongoing review and adaptation. The final step is to consistently review your portfolio. It's like a regular checkup that you would get from your doctor. Things change, so make sure you keep up to date. Be prepared to make necessary tweaks to ensure your portfolio remains in line with your financial objectives. By adhering to these guidelines, you can develop a robust dividend portfolio capable of delivering a consistent income stream and helping you reach your passive income goals. Next, it's time to start crunching the numbers to make your $10,000 per month goal a reality. Steps to Earning $10,000 a Month in Dividends Let's explore the methods and tactics to reach that magical $10,000 monthly income from dividends. What we are essentially doing is figuring out how to make our money work for us, a principle Warren Buffett hasn't shut up about in over 70 years. Blue chip snaps when we owned it or, or even diversified retail. We, we wanted them all to be compounding, in effect, be compounding machines. That's why people gave us capital. That's why we put our own capital in. As you just saw, Warren believes in creating compounding machines through smart investments. These investments act as machines because they do all the heavy lifting for us, making our lives much, much easier. So let's start with our first strategy to earn passive income from dividends. Strategy 1. Investing in Blue Chip Dividend Stocks Incorporating Blue Chip Dividend Stocks into your investment approach lays a strong foundation for your portfolio. These stocks are known for their financial robustness, consistent performance, and regular dividend payouts. Their reliability especially in tough economic times, makes them a favored choice among investors. Warren Buffett, a proponent of disciplined long-term investing, emphasizes choosing companies with a stable history and regular dividend distributions. He advises against getting swayed by short-term market fluctuations. Blue-chip companies typically have distinct competitive advantages and command significant shares in their markets. Some examples of blue-chip stocks include well-known giants like Apple, Microsoft, and Johnson & Johnson. These companies have stood the test of time, offering not only regular dividends, but also demonstrating potential for long-term growth. Investing in such stocks resonates with Buffett's strategy of selecting high-quality investments for the long haul instead of jumping on trends and fads. I think it all depends on your circumstances, but you shouldn't buy stocks unless you expect, in my view, you, you expect to hold them for a very extended period and you are prepared financially and psychologically by including blue chip stocks in your portfolio, you're building a dependable income source. These stocks offer not just regular income, but also potential long-term growth. Consider integrating these stable dividend payers into your investment portfolio. Next, we will discuss our second strategy for achieving financial freedom through dividends, which involves dividend growth stocks. Unlike blue chip stocks, dividend growth stocks offer a unique advantage. These stocks are special because they not only offer dividends, but also increase them consistently. This aligns with Warren Buffett's philosophy. The best investment you can make is in yourself. In investing terms, it means focusing on companies that reinvest in their growth and regularly boost their dividend payouts. Famous examples include tech giants like Apple and Google's parent company, Alphabet. These massive companies put their profits back into research, development, and expansion fueling continuous growth while simultaneously increasing their dividend payouts to shareholders. The beauty of these stocks lies in their compounding effect. As dividends grow year after year, so does your return on investment. Though they may start with lower yields, dividend growth stocks hold immense potential for long-term income. They're perfect for investors who appreciate the power of compounding and have the patience to let their investments mature. As your investment grows, so does your income stream making this approach highly effective for those aiming to fund their lives through dividends. Investing in dividend growth stocks is more than just investing in assets. It's an investment in your financial future, resonating with Buffett's emphasis on continuous learning and long-term vision. Adding these stocks to your portfolio can be a strategic move toward achieving financial independence. Now, let's explore the third strategy in our journey towards financial freedom through dividends, which introduces an interesting twist. 
Covered Call ETF Covered Call ETFs can significantly enhance your strategy for achieving a monthly dividend income of $10,000. This aligns with Warren Buffett's advice. The stock market is designed to transfer money from the active to the patient. Patience plays a key role in the success of covered call ETFs. But what exactly are they? Covered call ETFs blend stocks with options, holding a portfolio of dividend paying stocks while selling call options on those stocks. This dual approach generates extra income, boosting your monthly dividends. Here's the breakdown. These ETFs consist of select high quality dividend paying stocks. The ETF sells call options on these stocks, which allows buyers the right, but not the obligation, to buy the stocks at a set price within a certain time frame. By selling these options, the ETF earns premium income, which is then paid out as dividends to investors. However, this strategy limits the maximum profit potential if stock prices rise significantly. Covered call ETFs are ideal for investors seeking steady dividend income while managing risk. They offer a way to increase earnings from your investments without major strategy changes. Examples of such ETFs include the Global X S&P 500 Covered Call ETF XYLD, which follows the S&P 500 and sells options on its stocks, and the ProShares K One Free Crude Oil Strategy ETF OILK, focusing on crude oil futures and options. For international diversity, one can look at traditional ETFs like iShares MSCI Brazil ETF. EWZ, and explore covered call ETFs focusing on markets like Brazil. Incorporating covered call ETFs into your portfolio can be a strategic move towards achieving financial independence, especially if you're aiming for a $10,000 monthly income. Now let's do some simple math to see how you can reach the goal of $10,000 per month through covered call ETFs with a 12% yield compared to the traditional dividend investing method. Calculation Covered Call ETFs with a 12% yield To generate a monthly income of $10,000 from Covered Call ETFs with a 12% annual yield, you must first calculate the required annual income. The annual income needed is $10,000 per month times 12 months, totaling $120,000 per year. Next, divide this annual income by the yield percentage to find the total investment necessary. So, you would need to invest about $1 million in covered call ETFs with a 12% yield to generate $10,000 per month. I know what you're thinking. How on earth am I supposed to have $1 million to invest in the first place? Don't worry. I'll get to that at the end of the video. For now, let's compare this to traditional dividend investing, which typically offers around a 3% yield common for blue chip stocks. With a 3% yield to achieve the same annual income, of $120,000, you would need to invest approximately $4 million in traditional dividend paying stocks. In summary, to make $10,000 a month, you'd need to invest $1 million in covered call ETFs with a 12% yield, but for the same monthly income from traditional dividend stocks at a 3% yield, the investment would be $4 million. This shows that traditional dividend investing requires a much larger investment to achieve the same income level as covered call ETFs with a higher yield. However, consider the risks as these ETFs might offer limited capital growth compared to traditional dividend stocks. Your investment strategy should also reflect your diversification needs and financial goals. Consulting with a financial advisor is crucial to tailor your approach to your specific needs and risk tolerance. Ultimately, whether you choose covered call ETFs or traditional dividend investing, Remember that achieving financial independence through dividends is a long-term endeavor. The strategy you select should match your financial objectives, risk appetite, and investment timeline. Each method has its benefits, and the key is patience, staying informed, and remaining invested. Now let me answer your question from before. How can an average person who's not a high-paid CEO or a doctor earn $1 million to invest in the ETFs I mentioned earlier? Obviously, your job isn't the answer. Starting one of these seven passive income side hustles is your best bet. So click this video and I'll see you there.